Today we're going to take a look at a different type of linked lists. So far we've looked at uh, these types of linked lists. They are called singly linked linked lists. Why? Because they only have each node only has at most one pointer pointing to another node, right? So uh, you have the root pointer pointing to the second node, the second one pointing to the third and so on and so forth. And today we'll take a look at a doubly linked linked list. What's, what's the difference between those two? Well, the difference is in their nodes. So this guy only has basically an information field where you can store really anything. And it has a pointer to the next uh, node. A doubly linked linked list has two pointers. So the node looks something like this. Let me draw it here. So it has the information, for example, here three. But aside from having a forward arrow, right, having a reference to the next node, it also has a reference to the previous node, just like so. And the node before it also has a reference to the previous node. So if I have here the node one, this guy can point to three. And here, since one is actually still the root of our doubly linked link list, its previous is going to be null. All right. And of course, the next nodes are going to be looking exactly the same. So if I, if I draw here seven, <coughs> it's going to be like that with a previous pointer that points to the previous element and the next pointer that points to eight here, which is our last element. And of course, the last element has a reference back to our previous one. And also the last element doesn't have a next pointer similar to a singly linked link list. So this is similar to having basically two linked lists put on top of each other. They are the same, but one of them is the reverse of the other. Right. So here you start from one and go to three and seven and eight, and then you can start from eight as well and move previously to seven, three and one, right? So this is uh, a doubly linked link list. Very, I think it's very simple. And uh, we are gonna take a look at the advantages of them and a few uh, details about the implementation of each operation. I'm not gonna take a look at uh, each operation in much detail because they are more or less the same. All right, so let's get to implementing it. First, we should create a node, right? A struct node. So I'm gonna say here, type def struct node. And similarly to what we had before, I'm gonna store an int, but you can store anything you want. I'm gonna store an int and I'm gonna have, as I said, I need a node pointer next like before, but I also need a previous node. So I'm gonna just copy this and say previous. And of course, I want to type that this to node, the name node, right? So as before, we have to use uh, the struct keyword in here uh, uh, for the same reason that we did before. I suggest you watch the, at least the introduction to uh, singly linked link lists of uh, the series. All right, so let's try to actually create a linked list. Uh, whereas with singly linked linked list, we only had one root, right? But with doubly linked linked lists, you can have two roots really, because as I said, you can start from one and go to eight, but you can also start from eight and go to one in the other, in the opposite direction. So, uh, what we should do is differentiate between those two in the naming. So I'm going to call this guy, the tail and this guy, the head of our uh, linked list. All right, so I'm gonna start here by declaring the tail. So node pointer tail is going to be dynamically allocated. So I'm gonna malloc size of uh, node again. So that's the same thing. And also let's check if malloc failed to allocate. That should be a good idea. So null, so if tail is null, then just basically return one or exit with one doesn't really matter. I don't want to execute any further if the tail failed, failed to allocate. So now that we have the tail, let's store some values in it. So I'm going to say tail arrow x equals, what did we have in the example? We had one, right? So I'm going to store one in it, just like we did with normal linked lists. And then we have to decide, okay, so since this is the tail, its previous pointer, this guy should be null. So I'm going to actually say that tail arrow 
previous equals null. Okay, and then we need to sort of create a next pointer. So what I'm gonna do is um, allocate a next pointer to it. So I'm gonna say tail arrow next equals malloc size of node. And so now we should have the second pointer allocated or the second node allocated. And like before, I'm going to actually check if this guy allocated some memory. So if you did, nice, we can store some values. Let's store the next one, which is, I think it was free, yes. So now since we actually have uh, tail arrow next be a new node, if we say tail arrow next, arrow x equals three, then we also have a value in it. And now also we have to set the previous pointer to our second node. This is something that we didn't have to do with singly linked linked lists. So I'm gonna say tail arrow next. This is a pointer to our second node. So we want to set the previous to our second node to be the first node. So the previous to our second node, this is what this reads as, equals our first node, which is the tail. I hope this makes sense. And then of course, let's set uh, the next pointer to be a new node. And I'm gonna actually stop at uh, seven here because otherwise it's just gonna get really complicated. So consider uh, this linked list that we're gonna actually create inside our uh, program. Okay, so tail arrow next, uh, that's the pointer to our second node. I want its next pointer to be a new node. So I wanna create here malloc size of node again. And ag again, of course, check if it's null and return a maybe a different value this time, all right? And what we wanna do is, well, we have the third node, which is tail arrow next arrow next and just set its value to seven, right? Because tail, as you remember, tail is this guy. Tail arrow next is a pointer to this guy and tail arrow next arrow next is a pointer to this guy. So now that we have the third element, tail arrow next arrow next, let's set its, uh, its value. So tail arrow next arrow next arrow x is going to be seven. And it's, we have to also set its previous, remember? So this can be quite complicated, but don't, uh, don't worry, we're gonna go to actually and implement an insert function in a later video, and that's gonna be much, much, much more readable. But right now, just as an example, this is what you would do to actually create a linked list uh, without having any sort of additional functions. So this is what? This is the previous pointer of our third element. So it's basically this value is the previous pointer of our third node, right? And we have to set it to be what? To the, to be the second node. Well, the second node happens to be tail arrow next, right? Since tail is just our first node and we only need a reference to it. And since let's say seven is our last uh, node of the linked list, we're gonna omit here eight. All we have to do is to set its next pointer, right? So third element's next pointer to be null. So that says that, okay, here the linked list sort of ends, but really it's the other root of our linked list. Whereas we, here we have tail, we can actually store this, uh, this pointer to be our head. So you can say here node pointer head, equals tail arrow next arrow next right this is our third element all right so that's all i wanted to talk about in this video very short and uh, i hope you got something i hope you understood what the double linked link list is uh what i want you to do is to think about the advantages this sort of gives you they are not very obvious but you might spot some and if you do uh spot some please leave them down in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Uh, in the next videos, we're gonna talk about these advantages and uh, how it plays, how these play a role in the operations themselves. When you delete a node, when you add a node, or when you want to, for example, reverse it. Hmm, what? How can you reverse a double linked linked list? All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care, bye.